I've committed to leaving, but I haven't left the earth yet. Nothing you can do but charge forward. What I love the most in the mountains is that I can do anything I want. It's pure freedom. You know, there's always a bit of fear. If you don't have a little fear, you know, then you're a little crazy, I think. <laughs> Nothing else matters up here. All the chaos is just gone. No one else around. The moment my feet leave the earth, everything else disappears. Got my own monster. It's pure adrenaline. Nobody but me. It's what I live for. I've never got an enemy. He's too bad. your canvas, you know, you can paint your own picture. That's what the beauty of it is. The most important thing for me is to try something that never been done before. Am I scared? Sure. But fear can be a tool. It can keep you performing beyond what you think your limits are. Super excited to have this brand new IP debut this year, and it's coming just in time, right, for this uh, this winter season, just in December. Hi, everybody. I'm MJ. I'm going to be your host for the master classes for today and for tomorrow. Super excited to be here to present these dev teams that I know are also super excited to meet you guys. Welcome to everybody in the room here. I can see a bunch of star players here. That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, welcome to you guys also following us on the Twitch live stream. Uh, keep your questions coming on the chat. Uh, we'll do our best to answer as much as we can. Um, and without further ado, do you want to meet the team responsible for all this awesomeness here? Cool. So please give a warm welcome to the steep dev team from Ubisoft and C. Hi everyone, we are going to start a quick footage. Here it is for the end of this wingsuit ride. Welcome everybody uh, for the Steep Masterclass. I'm uh, Sebastian Arnoux, producer on the project. And uh, today I'm with uh, Arnaud Rago, the game director of the project. Uh, Steep is about sharing. And today what we are going to show you is a, a video of a co-op demo, full co-op demo, that will give you a better view and better understanding of what is Steep in terms of main components, main experiences for the player. So we are going to uh, start this demo by what we call and what's extremely important in the game, it's the exploration aspect of the game. Uh, Steep is a massive open world set in the Alps. Exploring it is a key part of the user experience. So we are back on the wingsuit 
sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, that's a switch of video. Maybe we can uh, move a bit forward. Uh, or actually, we'll go. That you will have the benefit of <laughs> watching this video in accelerated, the first sequence again. Hope you enjoyed that, the wingsuit, uh, the wingsuit ride in this uh, narrow corridor in multiplayer. So you saw the GoPro camera. You'll see another time this magnificent landing. <laughs> I won't do the introduction again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the technical issues. Uh, we are going to get back to the, to the exploration. So as we were saying, the first part of this uh, video, this demo, will be about exploration, because we have a massive open world. Uh, exploration is key. Uh, we have multiple elements, multiple systems in the game uh, to, fulf uh, to, to fulfill this, uh, uh, this experience. So we are on top of the aiguille here. And what's better to explore a world like Steep than having a first paraglide ride? So here it is again. Arno here is on his platform. He's going to start a ride in paraglide. And he's going to join his partner Spooks over there on the second platform. And while paragliding, he will have a look, and you can have a look at the Araris region on the uh, end right here. This is where we come from. We are from Ubisoft NC, and actually NC stands in the Araris. While joining Spooks, you will see the Matterhorn, this big peak that is in the background next to the sun. This one is very risky, very steep, made of rocks and, and ice. And we are facing now the Mont Blanc. The Mont Blanc is the highest peak in the Alps. And while those two guys are going to ride, they will find a spot to land so that we can have a better look at the different activities that we have in the Mont Blanc. So they will try a landing, make it safe. Join together, and here it is. Arnaud, maybe you want to yeah. uh, introduce us what are the activities? So what you see in the face of the Mont Blanc is different kind of challenge we set here for history. So what's important is the different color. You can see it represents the different experience you will have in Steep. The orange one represents the risk-taking challenges. And if we go for the light blue one, it's challenges that will test your navigation skills. And on your left, we have a yellow one, which is about freestyling, meaning pulling off crazy tricks on really cool places of the world. And the blue one is a free ride scoring challenge. So you have to leverage all the opportunity of the terrain to score as many points as possible. Maybe you hear it, but we have a crystal sound, meaning we have something to discover, and it's a drop zone. That's the core of the exploration system of Skip. You will have to explore the world so that you can discover drop zone. Drop zone will give you access to more area in the world. And as you are discovering the drop zone, you gain access to the world playground, playground, playground or in the end. Cool. Uh, maybe we uh, get to paraglide again and yeah. find a new spot. So our two buddies are going to paraglide again, take off from this place. And while going through this second round of Paraglide, we'll introduce you a couple of extra features. So you notice the GoPro view that is available. And actually, there will be multiple GoPro point of view for every sport. And here you can notice the specificities of the Aiguille du Mont Blanc, these needles that we can find next to the Mont Blanc. It's really sharp. It's really extreme. And this is a unique playground for the Paraglide and the wingsuit. As we move forward, you will notice this red arrow. This red arrow, in a nutshell, represents the air system that we've developed in the game. The air system, as soon as you are close to a cliff, to a slope, will elevate when you are in paraglide. Therefore, by playing with these elements, you'll be able to access any uh, very specific places that you, will don't, that you couldn't access uh, without oh, that. I crashed. And Arnold had a crash. Yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, so the two guys will land again on another area, and from here we'll have a better look uh, at other yeah. functionalities of the exploration mode. So I will introduce uh, another way to explore the world. So you will see it right after this walking moment. 
So as you have seen, we can discover things by looking at the world with the binoculars, but we can also discover things by riding, free roaming, and getting close to hidden opportunities in the world. So in that example, you will see that we have a drop zone. But this drop zone is way too far from where we are, so we could not confirm visually that it's a good starting point. So we will have to get close to the drop zone to reveal it. We can decide to go there by ski or snow. We can combine all the sport together to traverse the world, but this time we decided to go by wingsuit yeah, and have some fun on the way. You like to take risks, guys. So let's move forward and go to this drop zone by wingsuiting. As you saw, our wingsuiters are performing scores by doing some proximity flying. Proximity flying means the closer you are from the terrain or any obstacle, the bigger you will uh, score. You see that? The players are getting close to the drop zone, or maybe they will go through this hole. Yeah, and that's yeah. a success. So Safely. Are These are good players that actually played. So, uh, yeah. so we are getting close to the drop zone, so we are about to unlock it. We just need to land safely or pass by close enough to reveal it. Hold so on a second. Scoot. And Scoot crashed. Crash. Yeah. That's good. crash on the top of the hill. Arnaud uh, approached safely the drop zone and uh, unlocked it, so from now on he can access this drop yeah. zone and this area of the world. And that, was, <laughs> that was a good yeah. landing, Arnaud. Uh, so this pretty much ended what, the, the, what we wanted to show with the first uh, exploration um, focus of our game. In the second part of uh, this demo, we will talk more about the navigation, so while we spawn somewhere else in the world. We are going to have our two guys equipped. Here, as you have seen, we can change the time of day dynamically in the game. And so while they are taking a snowboarder... You can change your character. This is something we will uh, reveal more detail on later yeah. on. We'll talk more about the navigation system. So we have a skier, we have a snowboarder. The navigation, the basic navigation and the behavior is based on the physics. Uh, we make it accessible so that only with the usage of the left stick the player can really navigate pretty much everywhere in the world. With the usage of the right stick the player will be able to drift and to control his brake and it's going to be the A case for this exploration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Spux is putting some flags on the mountain so that we plan our line and we'll see what we are about to achieve. So you see we will go through this narrow corridor we have to jump over that cliff and another jump here, and maybe we land safely here. So let's go. So we'll use the right stick to control our speed so that we can make sure we can go through all these uh, tricky parts of the terrain and make sure we can uh, ride and land safely to achieve our line. So Spooks is supposed to be the good player on this, uh, on this section, and he's supposed to succeed. Where Arno usually have more difficulties, the one we are following up. So let's see how they succeed. So you see it's really <laughs> close. We really need to control what we do. And First jump is down, good. Second jump is down. Great job. That was nice. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't work every time, so. And here we can see that Spooks failed miserably. So Arno, because you did a great performance, yeah. we'll have a look at the replay of your performance. So as you have seen, as we are uh, riding down the mountain, we leave a trail on the mountain and we can then analyze what we have achieved on that trail. And for this example, we start a replay of my great performance. So with the replay, we can basically do whatever we want with the camera, with the speed, and we can even decide to stop, Rewind, fast forward, slow down. We want the replay to be a tool for you guys to express your creativity. You create your own sequence and using the tools of the console, you can share the video to your community with, on the social media. And you can switch to the GoPro if you want. And you can laugh at your friends that are failing. Oh, just th nearby. that's a slow move uh, to, slow uh, to move make sure to joke uh, about the... <laughs> <laughs> the crash of Spooks. Cool. Um, maybe uh, then we follow up. Uh, I think with we need uh, to be fair with Spooks. Yeah, yeah. Spooks because is our best player when it comes to freestyling, and I think he's going to show you what the trick system is in Steve. So, can you tell us a bit about the trick system yeah. and while he's playing? So, we want trick system in, tr in Steve to be something that will allow you to express your creativity. Basically, it's controlled with the, with the two sticks of the, uh, of the pad. 
And using the analogy of the sticks, you will be able to create your own rotation while you are in the air by mixing the sticks. So Spooks is giving some example of how good, uh, how good you can be on the game. And you can add more style to your tricks by grabbing your board or your skis, and also by tweaking your position in the air so that yeah, you can nice. really create your own tricks <laughs> and show off to your friends. So that's yeah, good that we're on big, Spooks. Big, big. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice landing. <laughs> so that's what we call tricks. Uh, Neither Arno or I can do yeah. this, this type of performance. Yeah. We really have depth here, and it's really our best player that showcases that. So now that we're, we have ended this uh, advanced navigation and tricks, uh, we are going to bring you through different challenges that you have uh, in the game. The first one is going to be a forester race. Uh, so Arno, and actually Spooks is not that yeah, fair because cheat, he, yeah. he started to cheat and take the challenge in advance. So he come back. Yeah, that's, that's part of the deal. <laughs> Actually, uh, those guys fair, are so. not fair. So Can you are, talk about yeah. the Forester, please? So what we want is tip is to have a, a different variety of time attack challenges. So depending on where you are in the world, for example, in a forest or in a village or in an ice field or in an extreme slope, the experience, the time attack experience will be totally different. And because this guy cheated, we gave him a, a, an extra challenge of trying to succeed by going in GoPro camera. This gives way more sensation. So we can guarantee you will have good thrill moments in different wow. variety of time attack challenges. Whoa, this whoa, whoa. guy is lucky, yeah. avoiding every trees. <laughs> Almost finished. Yeah. And for sure, don't try this at all. <laughs> and he won the silver medal. That was a nice ride. So yeah, let's show another type of uh, challenge. So as I said at the beginning, we have uh, a huge variety of challenges in the world. So we have a small selection for E3, uh, so that you can have all the different experience. And let's go for the next one. <coughs> so we are in the Aravis region, actually. This is where we live. So the yellow one is a freestyle challenge. So it's a Red Bull challenge. It's a replication of, what, uh, of uh, an event that Red Bull is organizing in real life. And it's about pulling up crazy tricks on those wooden platforms. And it's big air moments. Yeah. It Can still spooks, uh, actually. But Arno is going. He's doing yeah, good. yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. nice reward. <laughs> There's a bit of luck here. Yeah. <laughs> Another one, next to the roof, Whoa. land on the roof. So you see nice. the G-Force, that's the system we have developed on Steep. So we are a physics-based behavior. So each time you have an impact during your ride, you will receive G-Force impact. And if you have too much G-Force, at the end you will fail. So you have to control how, much, how many impacts you took during your ride. So the last big kick for the end. Yeah. Let's see what you can do, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. do the same. Great. I do not. <laughs> In real life or on the demo? Great. Cool, and that's a good performance. Silver medal won for this ride on and the Ultra Natural. And it's an open world game, so you can take part in the challenge, but yeah. you can also keep free roaming after a challenge. And that's something that will stop your uh, flow. You can keep on going, and we are discovering a nice village here. Yeah. And have a free ride here. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, all this, obviously, is shared with, uh, with your friends by grouping of with other people that you will meet so in the mountain. So I think we have a last one, right? Yes, we have a la one last challenge that will take place in the, in the Mont Blanc. So I think we are going to discover one black challenge. So black challenge are our kind of uh, crazy experience. Risk taking. So here, no, more than risk taking. It's craziness. It's craziness? OK, so let's have a look at that. So here we are doing, we are going to do a windsuit but with a twist. And you will see that in Steep, we leverage every opportunity to create cool activities. So let's start this challenge and see what it is about. Just about going through this electrical pole. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And oh, oh, it's a, it's a, oh, and he failed. So let's try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. 
Maybe you talk about this loop of train. Maybe. Yeah, so we really want the player to experiment, to, to have a really nice flow when, they, when it's come to taking part in challenges. So we have a quick retry button with the Y. You can hold Y anytime so that you can quickly restart your challenge. Cross your finger. Uh, yeah, it's a bit cheating because yeah, it's, it's over. A bit cheating. But I think he has to go through uh, this second one. Hold your breath. Come on. Almost here. Come on. Will he succeed? Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice one. But it's not down yet. And the last one is a bit tricky. There's okay. a surprise? There's a surprise. Yeah. We change the rules. Oh, here oh, is oh, the oh, surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Definitely. So, cool. so that was uh, w for the wingsuit challenge. Yeah. Uh, and I think that we have one last wingsuit then before ending no, up no, this. No, no, uh, no. I think we are the going to the Mont Blanc. We are going to the Mont Blanc? Oh, yeah. yeah, we go with this one. So we wanted to conclude this master masterclass by showing a really advanced experience when it comes to ride the most extreme phase of the world. So here we'll take part in the time attack challenges, but it's really on steep phase, and it's really about keeping the control of the rider. And let's ride it with the clone. <laughs> the best way to get into extreme. And it's really cool to ride it with your friend because most of the time they will fail and you can laugh at them. Yeah. So it starts easy. And then the line starts to is coming here. Yeah, it starts to become yeah. more narrow. We have more ice that is harder to control. Whoa, 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 we have these rocks here. Oh, 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 oh look, look. Ah no, yeah, just yeah. crashed on the left, on the right. <laughs> You can see this black filter. Yeah, that means you are really approaching your limits. So you took many Gs, so you have to calm down all your uh, navigation so that you can recover a bit and keep going. So he succeeds for now to survive, yeah, but, but he's it's late. Cheeky. It's really cheeky. No, yeah. but not a bad, uh, yeah. Okay. And he's a bit late compared to the silver and yeah. gold medal. Oh, 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 oh. And he's oh. in tough condition now. Come on, come on. Oh, la, oh, la, oh, la, la. <laughs> oh, oh. He did it. You, we saw the silver medal crash, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's a and silver that medal for him. Great job. It was a nice ride. So I think it's concluded our presentation. Yeah, today. so that was uh, a sneak peek at the different challenges and different systems that we have developed with Steep. Um, know that uh, we've been through this um, this uh, video of this demo. We hope you enjoyed this. We, we hope that uh, you get a better understanding of what we wanted to deliver. Thank you. Thank you. Everything here is share, sharing with your friends in this massive open world and with all the systems that compose a, a big sandbox that you can play with your friends or even alone. Yeah. So maybe. Uh, we can start with uh, the Q&A. Uh, Kevin, we see that Kevin and is getting the first question. From Twitch, so I hope you guys at home, you enjoyed Hi. it as well. Hi, Hi Kevin. Hello, start. guys. <laughs> Welcome on Steep. I'm uh, Kevin Irwin, the uh, community developer on Steep. And uh, we've been getting your questions from the Twitch chat. And so we've got uh, one question uh, for you guys about customization. Uh, so how much can you customize your character and your equipment? So, uh, so this is something that will give more detail in the future, but for sure you can expect customization in Steep. We'll have a whole set of visual customization for any of the sports, either wingsuit or paraglide or ski and snowboard. And you will be also have a lot of set of equipment, ski, snowboard, uh, wings and also suit for your wingsuits. Okay. So uh, another question we had was about uh, the weather and environment. Can you manipulate the environment? So uh, in Steep, we want player to be in total control of the condition. We want player to live the ride of their life, and to achieve that, we want them to be able to define what are the ambience he wants to ride or fly uh, with so that he can then share a really cool video to his uh, community. So we want that 
dynamic weather. It's all on the players under player's control. Yeah, so you can just push a button. And yeah, exactly, yeah, like what we saw in the, the, in the video. Page. You can really change that the way you want so that you can really uh, put your rider, put your ride in the best condition to shoot your replay videos and really have the best condition. You, you, you can do all of that pretty much as a rider. OK. Uh, there was another question about uh, wildlife. Yeah. Are you going to encounter? About wildlife? Wildlife, animals. Yeah. So you encounter you bears chasing you and things like that. <laughs> yetis. <laughs> yetis. Hidden so, yetis. <laughs> so not that big, uh, be, uh, big beast, uh, but uh, for sure, uh, the open world of Steve that we are delivering, we wanted to have uh, the best credibility. And we are, if we, you do not have seen that in the, in the video here, uh, in Steve you'll be able to uh, have fauna like uh, crows that are flying or eagles that are flying in the air, indicating some uh, air systems feedback. Uh, you will also be able to meet some different. Uh, you can actually hit a bird. Sorry. You can actually hit a bird. A bird. A bird. Yeah. 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 You can. But, <laughs> but I don't, don't think you'll be able to. In the Alps, yeah. so don't expect beers. <laughs> yeah. okay. But uh, you will have fauna that will uh, that will really enrich your experience. The only thing that we won't have is any interaction with this uh, with this fauna. They're hanging around on the mountain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. um, another question we had was uh, about the. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what the question was. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, oh, can, uh, the uh, realism. How authentic is the world? Can you really go anywhere you want yeah, in the so world? So basically, as you have seen, we have a really huge open world, and we have the promise that you can go anywhere in this world. So you have drop zone to start riding in this world, so you can access a part of the areas available in the playground. But as you have seen, you can combine all the sport together to explore the world. That means you can use your paraglide to fly and potentially move up to more uh, high peaks in the world and gain access to this uh, part of the region, even if there is no drop zone here. So it's really how you are um, creative with the combination of the sports that will help you explore the world and go wherever you want. Also, one uh, addition to this is the fact that the open world that we've set and that will be playable at first is, composi is composed of multiple regions of the, of the Alps, from Switzerland, from Italy. So we bring them all in the what we call the best of, of, uh, of the Alps. Uh, what we also wanted to do in terms of credibi and uh, credibility and realism of the world, we want to make sure that it's all this terrain, all this big world that we, that we give is fully rideable and that you can really enjoy it at most. So that's why we haven't made a, an exact uh, topology, uh, exact topology reproduction, but we took off all the uh, problematic uh, situation that we could have from a gameplay perspective to really deliver the best uh, riding ex experience world for the player. But if I can add something to that. Uh, yes, you may add something to that if you yeah. like. <laughs> Game yeah. director. And I'm going to add something uh, to that. Uh, <laughs> so even must. if it's not uh, the exact representation of the Alps, we wanted to have all the geological rules that are really uh, credible. That means you have forest when you can expect to have forest, you have lake when you can expect to have lake, and when you will be in the mountain, you will really feel being in an authentic mountain. I thought you wanted to add something to that, Seb. No? Sorry, no, You're I don't want to add anything about that. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the final word for that one. Um, so can we get a better look at the challenges and how they work? Yeah. And like different types of uh, tournaments and events? So I won't talk about tournaments and events right now. It's part of our live program, and this is something we'll uh, give more details in the future. But I can talk about the challenges. So you have seen some examples in this uh, walkthrough. So as I said, you can expect to have many challenges in really different places of the world. And what's really important is that even if the rules are quite simple, it's time attack, it's scoring, it's uh, pulling up tricks, the experience will be really, really different wherever you are in the world. So having a trick uh, challenge, for instance, in the Aravi, it's cool because it's a really safe place to pull up really cool tricks. 
doing the same on Cliff Series in the Mont Blanc. It's really an extreme experience so that you have, you change all your references and you have to learn about navigation and tricks in those extreme places. So what's really cool is that we have a, we'll have many challenges, we have many environments in the world, so you can expect every change is to be unique. And nothing to add. You have nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to add. Um, kind of related to that about the, um, the sharing and in terms of creating challenges, yeah. how does that work exactly between the players? So you have seen in the video, uh, each time uh, we ride or we fly in the game, we will generate a trail in the mountain. This trail is a kind of a memory of what you have achieved, and you can go back to this trail whenever you want and analyze what you have done along this trail. And if you, let's say, you have done something really great, a trick over a cliff, you can decide to select this segment and you can, if the performance is good, you can decide to turn this segment into a, into a challenge. So it will create a challenge in your world so that you can keep on trying to beat your own performance, but it will be automatically shared to your friends and it starts a competition with your friends to prove who is the best. And you can do that for tricks, but you can do that also for race. You can do that for free ride scoring. So we have many types of challenges that you can create in the world based on the trail you have achieved uh, during your ride or flight. Uh, what about multiplayer? How many players can you have in a session or it's not? So uh, the multiplayer is pretty. Uh, can you even talk about session? I mean, it's um, so first of all, uh, on Steep, the multiplayer first principle is that the entire community, everybody will play on the same massive, which means that an American can play and meet a, a Japanese guy uh, whenever they are getting in uh, in the same area. The matchmaking works always permanently, so that you will have in the surroundings players that will be meaningful to you. And in terms of visibility, you will always have three other players that will be visible in the area. But it's not going to be always the same three players. As you will ride, you will meet multiple, uh, multiple different players. You will start with three players, then meet three others, then yeah, three it's, others. it's progressive. So it's yeah, progressive. Yeah. It's always getting fueling you with a new, uh, new public people. It's just that like will when you're heading down a mountain. Exactly. And, yeah. you and it's not someone. counting uh, everything that we saw in this video, the, the, the ghost that will be uh, uh, visible when you are going to play the challenges. And so that's for the public session. Then you can get grouped with your friends, with up to uh, three friends uh, together in the session to get to the specific uh, co-op activities. But this is something that we reveal more detail on yep. later. OK. And uh, what about, did you guys talk about Alaska? At all? Sorry? Alaska. Alaska? Yes. So yeah, we'll talk more about the, as Arno said, uh, about the life program later on. Uh, one thing that is extremely important uh, for, for us is uh, that Steep is an online experience. Steep is a multiplayer experience. Sharing is key. So we really want to have a very strong live program uh, on this project. And by to start to kick off uh, this live program, wow, we have people sharing over there. <laughs> to, to kick off this live program, we will deliver for free to every player a second big massive, which is going to be the Alaska, a couple of weeks after the launch. And you can expect something that is really totally different from the Alps. So it's really more uh, savage more natural oriented, so yeah, that's going to be great. You guys going to have to take some recon trips out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. From NC? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think uh, we have, do we have more questions? Uh, I see this, uh, this question here, when can we test the game? <laughs> ah, yeah, um, well, that's a good one. When can we test so, the game? So first thing that is important, if you like this game, uh, when you're looking at it at home, you can directly go on the website steepgame.com uh, and you can register to the, to the live phase that is coming. I, I won't give you a date, but I promise very, very soon. Uh, so you'll be able to enjoy everything that you, uh, that you saw today uh, in this, uh, in this uh, demo and you will uh, also be able to enjoy more features and more, uh, more things. So it's very soon. Go today on the website and register. We'll uh, send you keys when we'll open up an information, when, when we'll open up the live session. Okay. Steepgame.com. 
Yeah. Yes. What, where do you register again? <laughs> right now. Steepgame.com. Yeah. Steep you can go and register yeah, um, go for a chance to play the beta. Uh, do we have some questions in the audience? Yes. Here, let me head down. Hello, sir. How you doing? Uh, so you showcased how you can make your own challenges and for other people to kind of compete against you with that. Are you able to have like uh, two challenges in one, say if I'm going from a snowboard off a um, ramp into like paragliding, for instance? Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, regarding this number of challenges you can share, we decided to go with only one challenge at the time uh, to share with your friends. The reason behind that is that it means you have to do a choice and you need to do something great to share with your friends so that you provide them a good quality challenges. But you can store on your own world as many challenges as you want. So you can create, uh, let's say, 20 challenges in your world, but you can share to your friends only one at a time. Then you can decide to switch, switch to one another anytime you want, but at a single moment, you have only one challenge shared to your whole group of friends on Steep. So you wouldn't be able to go from, say, like snowboard onto like, another one immediately, like, say, a wingsuit? Yeah. Are you able to? So yeah, but as soon as you switch to wingsuits, as you said, the snowboard one will disappear from your friend's uh, world. Other question? Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. So uh, I have a question it's about uh, the game. For the, it's all multiplayer, cooperative and everything, but uh, if I want, can I uh, play alone uh, offline? So, um, yeah, as we said, it's you will meet always players in your world, but that doesn't mean you have to play with them. They are just there to create life in your world, and if you want to, you can decide to follow them and even uh, interact with them, group with them, and enter the multiplayer experience. But it doesn't prevent you from playing solo. So any challenge you can do in the world, even if there is player in the surrounding, you can play it alone. So we have also many other types of activities that will be able to play alone. So, do not consider it as uh, something that will disrupt you, it's just something that creates live and that are call to action to interact with other players. But if you are not into multiplayer, it's not a big deal, you can play the whole game alone if you want. Okay. Yes. There you go. Is there uh, any way to do like a level creator to add ramps to a run or something like that? Or Sorry, I, I, I uh, but it's, it's about... Uh, is there like a level creator to add like ramps to a run? No, we don't plan to like add that? this in uh, this okay. uh, first iteration of Steam. And any plans for DLC? Like <laughs> adding a jetpack wingsuit <laughs> to the game? <laughs> we have some photos on our web uh, mailbox, so... So for those at home, uh, he's just showing the wingsuit with a jetpack, so that's... Uh, this <laughs> one, we obviously uh, saw that we have lots of uh, IDs to create for our DLCs. Uh, we, will co we will come back later in terms of communication about what's going to be released when in terms of life. But uh, stay tuned because we have all these ideas and even more that will come and that will take, uh, that will exist uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the different uh, content that we are going to, uh, to deliver live. And uh, one important thing also is that uh, we want also to add this kind of fun and craziness in the game. So you have seen the clown, you have seen the Yeti. And all those type of ideas, this is the kind of craziness we consider for the game. So we, you can expect to have this kind of element that will come during our live program. We can, ex we can expect to have freaky clowns, more of them. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> more freaky clowns in the game. <laughs> <laughs> DLC. Uh, I think we have time for a few more questions. Yeah, OK. <clears throat> Um, so do the customization options provide you any different stats or say some boards perform better on ice or some are sharper turns in the snow? Is there anything like that? So uh, what's important in the fantasy of tip is that you are already a talented athlete. So that means you won't have to progress in terms of skills. You will have to progress on another way and we'll explain it a bit later. So let's go back to the equipment side. So this is something we are considering right now, but we are still in a production phase and we are still playing with these different parameters. So we, I cannot confirm today that we have these uh, different 
type of profile of board of skis or other type of equipment. But just let you know that this is something we consider, and if it's proved fun, we potentially will add it. Okay. Any? Yeah. <laughs> the question askers. So I have a last question. Uh, so the game is really beautiful, Thank and uh, I would like to know if uh, the game will be uh, compatible with the 3D vision from uh, NVIDIA. So, yeah, maybe you want to answer that? Uh, the, uh, we are working on detailing uh, everything about the, 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 the PC, and we are going to, uh, as much as possible, leverage uh, the, 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 the powerful PCs that, uh, that, that we have out there to even uh, um, improve the immersion of this game because being in such big mountains in such environments is just super cool. I think we believe and we hope that you that you found that as well. Uh, for the rest of the PC uh, scope and, and specific features, we'll communicate later on uh, during a later uh, step of production. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Will you guys um, add uh, VR support like HTC Vive? Um, so VR uh, is uh, an awesome topic. You know that Ubisoft is obviously always pioneer when it comes to uh, start uh, developments on new platform. And obviously, we are fans and passionate, and we really see that as an opportunity uh, and a new era of uh, video gaming. That's a question that comes often when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, to Steep. We are considering it, but we'll not communicate something today. We'll communicate more uh, later on uh, on that on, on that topic. Uh, but we are yeah considering it. Yeah, at the moment the whole team is really focused on the console and PC version of the game. Yeah. Yes. Hey, this is more like a novelty sort of question, but what are the chances of building like, I don't know, like a snowman or having like a snowball fight in the, in the game? Snowball. So snowman, for sure you will have some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think we haven't seen that in the video, but uh, on the asset on E3, you have um, a snowman costume you can equip and play with. Uh, but we have also other surprise with snowman. And when it comes to snowball, this, as I said, we won't add craziness in the game. So this is the kind of idea for sure that will come into the table at some point. People like that answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nobody's the simplest done. thing sometimes, right? <laughs> uh, I had like, uh, like come back to the origin, like the creation of the game, the studio, the fact that it's the NC studio. Can so, you talk a little bit about like that little yeah, baby? Yeah, it, it's pretty simple. Uh, we are as we said, from Ubisoft NC, and we are really literally 30 kilometers away from the Mont Blanc, which is the highest peak. So we, are, we have in the studio lots of mountain fans, lots of people that are just going on a trail during the weekend or skiing and, and snowboarding, not wingsuiting, uh, yeah. because it's, uh, it's uh, extremely like dangerous to and it needs a lot of practice. <laughs> but we have people paragliding. So we have a passion about mountain in, the, in, uh, in this studio. And naturally, uh, so uh, two years and a half ago, when we were exposed to a technology, the Ghost Recon technology, and when we saw the capacity of this technology to really uh, shape and, uh, and make something very realistic when it comes to the terrain, when it comes to the mountain, not only at high scale, but also at uh, low level, when we were looking at the details, we really th thought that there was something that would have been a super cool asset to ride on uh, and to play with. And this is the basic roots of the, of the, of the, of this project. The love of the mountain, this take opportunity, a team of uh, fans that actually uh, wanted to uh, get on this uh, genre and reinvent it with everything that we've uh, brought with, uh, with a steep. Okay, I think that covers it. Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> I think we have time for a couple more. Um, so I know the mountain is based on an area that was around the office of where, pretty much where you made the game. Now, did you use data from, like, say, NASA to help recreate that? Or maybe somebody went up there and took pictures? Or how did you create the auth uh, authenticity of the mountain? OK, so, um, <clears throat> so yes, we have a wall in the, in the studio with 
full of pictures of the mountain. So as we said, we wanted to create uh, something that feels like the Alp, but that are not the accurate Alp. The reason behind that is that if we decided to go for the Alp, many parts of the world won't have been rideable at all. It could be, have been rocky faces, and it could have been boring. So from the get-go, we decided to create our own version of the Alp that really feel like the Alp, but that could leverage every opportunity of the terrain to create a cool playground for you to enjoy. OK. Uh, good? OK. <laughs> um, if you. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks, guys. And don't forget uh, to register for beta, chance to play beta, uh, steepgame.com. We have hashtag steepgame. Cool, very cool. Thank that. you guys so thank much. You. And I can't wait to much. see. Sorry? Oh, thank you very much. I was just. <laughs> I just can't wait it. to see all your player videos. That's going to be awesome, too, all those crashes and stuff. So thanks for everybody following us on Twitch. We will see you in a, a little bit more than half an hour for the For Honor Masterclass, and that's going to be awesome, too. But for now, back to the Ubisoft booth. Thank you so much. It's that moment where I've committed to leaving, but I haven't left the earth yet. Nothing you can do but charge forward. What I love the most in the mountains is that I can do anything I want. It's pure freedom. You know, there's always a bit of fear. If you don't have a little fear, you know, then you're a little crazy, I think. <laughs> Nothing else matters up here. All the chaos is just gone. No one else around. The moment my feet leave the earth, everything else disappears. Got my own monster. It's pure adrenaline. Nobody but me. It's what I live for. I would never go to enemy. He's too bad. your canvas, you know, you can paint your own picture. That's what the beauty of it is. The most important thing for me is to try something that never been done before. Am I scared? Sure. But fear can be a tool. It can keep you performing beyond what you think your limits are.